Hey, how's it going? Just coming back from a drop run. So much good stuff, dude. Oh, so much good stuff. Not sure why the drops on Scorched Earth are so much better than the island, but it is definitely a welcome change. We got a lot of stuff, man. Some of it's going to be for taming today. Now, while I was out doing my drops, I was out in the actual dunes over there and found a couple things, man. Got some stuff on our map. Plus, we got a ton of stuff in here to go over, so it's it's been pretty nice. Did do some breeding on the moths and didn't get any mutations. Killed off quite a few, but we got a good breeding pair with all the correct colors. So I'll kind of show you those here in a minute. But I think for today, what we want to do, there's two different things we could do, man. I found one of the sand lizards, looked up the taming on it. It seems to be kind of like the Andrew Sarkis, so it shouldn't be too bad. One is over kind of where the salt and sulfur is, so it's not too far from here. The other thing I found is there's an alpha over here, man. The glow and nighttime was so bright from it. It's an alpha death worm. Now, I did find another mantis. So we are an 81 for doing breeding, and that's a 150 over there. The uh, I think it's a male one. We need a male, right? I hope we need a male. We do, okay. So we could go out, take out the death worm, grab the horns from that, and then go over, tame the mantis, come back and do breeding on those. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards, because I want to use those guys for doing our harvesting. It's kind of nice, man, seeing how they're not bugged anymore. It's it's definitely something I've been wanting to play with for quite a while now. And then for drops, man, ah, uh, dude, we got some of the C4. So we need that for taming the sand lizard, right? So it kind of works out. All we need to make is one of the detonators. We might do it all in the same video. We might do this in a separate video. But, finally got a long neck, dude. 142, it's it's not very much, but we're doing a 116 right now on ours. So, that was kind of neat, and then I got two more saddles for the Mantis. One's a 99, and one is a 119. So, not too bad, man. Very, very good drop runs. Let's grab all this stuff, we'll put it into the preserving bin. Drop you. Take this, and take that. Alright, so, let's see if the barrel's actually... ...sealed. Oh, it is! I actually sealed it. So, you guys left my comments and said that... The polymer doesn't actually stay in here. We'll do some testing today and see if it does, if I can remember. Drop all that in there. Let's go ahead and take out the fish meat I need to cook. I got some of that in there kind of preserving as well. Fish meat you can't really find too often around here. I mean, there's some down in the uh, the water below us. But might as well cook it up in case we need it for doing any of our imprints and stuff, right? The mantis weren't, or not the mantis, but the moths weren't too bad. I think one or two of them wanted some kibble, so went ahead and gave them that. Didn't really want to, but is what it is, man. All right, let's drop you off in there, and then there was something else I saw on here. Look at this, man. It says hide in barrel storage. <laughs> I didn't click on it yet, but let's see what it's all about. Why would you want to hide in the barrel? Now, I wonder if you're doing PvP or something, right? Can you hide in somebody else's barrel? Surely you can't do that whenever it's actually. Sealed, right? I mean, obviously not. Four minutes. What we'll try to do is take a look at the timer on here. We'll seal it, give it a minute or so, and then unseal it. We'll see if the polymer actually stays. Now, you guys said, too, that we can put the preserving salts in here. But here's the thing, right? So, let's take these. You got two minutes. You put the salts in. You still got two minutes. So, I don't really see the point in the salts. Whenever you seal it, it kind of preserves it all the way, right? 100%. A little bit of testing that we did. So, I don't know, man. Not too sure why you would put the salts in there if it seals and preserves it itself, you know? Again, all new stuff. I don't know why they don't include information about all this. Whenever they drop a mod pack, you know? So, let's get stuff sorted out for today. We're going out in the desert regardless. Let's take some of those. We'll take some of these. We're not going to take the canteen because it kind of, the water, it just, it spoils super fast, man. Super, super fast, so no reason to take it. I still haven't dealt with the Udys. Now, something else you guys were asking about was, so these I transferred from the island, and you guys were wondering if I transfer them, if they reset the levels. Maybe it does on servers, but as you can see, the parents and stuff are still, you know, 179 and 128, so it did not reset these. I'll, I'll try to remember to deal with these today. I want to get out there and do the sandworm before it gets too hot. It gets, it gets super bad, man, with the heat waves. What is this? Oh, that's the the new essence, man, for the Oasisaur. Still haven't found one, but whenever you kill off one of your creatures, you can take that and then revive them if you have one tamed. Not sure if we're going to tame one of those creatures. We might just to see what it's all about. It's 50-50 on those things, man. Not sure how I feel about them. Let's clean this guy out. We'll probably need him today for dealing with all of the orange and stuff from the, the Death Worm. Maybe. Possibly. We'll take those for sure. 
Let's give one to Junior. Can probably leave him here out here at base. Got your saddle, buddy. Let's give you one of those. And that'll be the one that we use for... Actually, let's leave both of those in him. And then we do our breeding. We use those two to move them around. And then we'll put that on our good one. Want to get a really good one and use it for harvesting and stuff. If it's not going to be bugged out. Drop these in there. Is that you make a noise? I don't think there's any around here because of the plant species, right? So they do make noise while they're on the display case. Interesting. Don't really like that. <laughs> Let's take it back out of there. Whole point was to not hear you. Put the UD back. At least for a change, the UD is quiet. Alright, so that's good there. Give me a second, let me empty the rest of this stuff out. And then we'll kind of go from there. We do got some good pants. We got 169 there, and then... We got a blueprint for this. Now ours is 188. But that's still good to have in case something happens and we can't get our gear back. So, yep, give me a few minutes. I'll empty this, and then we'll jump on the cats. We'll kill us a death worm. Hopefully. Hopefully we kill it, and it does not kill us. Alright, put these other items into the grinder. And I think we're kind of set. Let's grab the cat real quick. Junior! Adventure day, buddy. Hopefully, you don't die. We don't die. I was thinking about taking a theory as well, just in case. It's been a long time since I've done anything with the death worms. They used to be pretty tough. Guessing that they still are. But our theory is kind of set up for doing the boss fights, right? So it should be pretty decent. Look a little bit closer. Should be pretty decent for taking out the sandworm, right? How's our timer on this? That is ready. Let's grab you. All right, just in case, let's put you guys down here. All right, so for the barrel and the polymer, the polymer is at, let's say, 650. Let's get it at 645. All right, 645, seal barrel. We'll give it a couple seconds. Then we'll open it back up. If it does preserve it, then it should be the same. See shadows. You're a fine thing, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, let's unseal you. It's not. Interesting, it's not preserving the polymer at all. Now, the question is, is it preserving this? Because that's something else that could never get put into a preserving bin. If not, no reason to put this or that in there. I mean, we'll still kind of keep it in here. Tell you what, while it's open, real quick. <laughs> Might as well check these. Ah, oh, they're fine. They go up to 150, so I'll do that before we come back and seal it. Oh yeah, let me show the moths before we head out. Or else I will forget. They're kind of all the same stats and things. I just kept two of them for right now. Now, what I got some points into, I went out to one of the little areas over there and hit one of the Explorer notes. So this guy is the first one we'll use for the trench runs with the dragon eggs. He's at 4,000 on the health, 1,000 on the stamina. Now, these are slower than what I'm used to because we can't put any points into the movement speed. Should be fine, though. The main thing I want to get some more points into is health for sure, though. I think stamina should be good enough for us to outrun the dragons and kind of outmaneuver them. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. But yeah, all the colors, man, are transferred over. We got the gray on the body, the blue on the belly, and we got the blue and gray on the wings. So it's not bad, man. I like it, dude. I like it. All right. Back down we go. That door's fine. That door's fine. The main one we need to close is is that one. Alright, so hopefully we don't have any storms. Preferably, if possible. At least not a sandstorm. We got our tents. I think we're kind of set, man. For the most part. So it's not too far to go over here where the death worm is. But dude, at nighttime, the glow from those, oh, it's a terrifying thing. There was a drop that came down right over by it. That's how I first found it. And then for the sand lizards, man. Like I said, I did some research on them, and apparently you can use a C4 to get them out of the ground. Then you have to jump on them and ride them like uh, one of the Andrew Sarkis and run them into rocks. That's <laughs> kind of a weird mechanic for getting them knocked out. But the thing I'm worried about is when it says it's like uh, Andrew Sarkis, I wonder if the steering is very bad on them. I don't know, man. It seems somewhat simple to tame for the most part. And then I don't know if you need to put kibble or something in their inventory whenever they're knocked out. I didn't do that much research. But I'm guessing you will. That seems how we got seven of the explosives. 
All I need to make is the detonator, I think, right? Never really use C4 too much in Ark. And I think you can use the grenades if you have those two to get them out of the sand. But since we got all that C4 from the drops, might as well just use that. You're right. How far are we from... Should be right up here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, kill this guy off, hopefully. We'll grab... It should be a trophy. You should get a skin as well, I think. It used to be part of the Manicore skin. Level 50. Not sure why I'm looking for moths, man. We, we got a very good pair. And then we'll just head right over. It's along the other side of the desert over there. Kind of, I guess, over where that blue drop is. And we'll try to get that mantis tamed up. Do some breeding. See how it is. Don't think I've ever done breeding on the mantis. So kind of excited about that. And I'm guessing they drop eggs, right? You guys left me comments too. Those things eat the spoiled meat, not chitin. So spoiled meat is definitely not an issue for this map, you know? All right, Junior, where are you at, buddy? Should be right around here. Ah, there he is there. See the glow? So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get out this guy. You alright, buddy? You feeling good today? We got a mini boss fight. 51 on the saddle, 32,000 on the health, and then damage is 888%. Should be fine. Might be fine. I'm thinking sending that guy in, and we'll kind of sit back on the cat and use our shotgun. Might be the safe bet. Possibly. Maybe. Let's get him out of the ground. Yep, there we go, there we go. And this guy, whenever I saw him, he- oh, dude, he's massive, man! His, uh, his tail actually came out of the ground whenever he went to go back down in. That did a lot of damage. Holy crap, dude! 142! He's glitching out! Yep, the cat is having a bad day. So the fairy's taking 200 damage. Oh, the guy is- is he in the ground? He's glitching out, man! Look how big he is compared to the fairy. That is nuts, dude! Alright. Yep, yep. Visual bug. That's kind of a problem. Just saying. Oh, that kind of sucks, man. It's a cool creature. It'd be nice to be able to see it while we're fighting it. I guess it's a good thing that we're actually back on the cat and using a shotgun, you know? You doing fine, Junior? It's a little bit of a scratch, man. You'll be okay. At least it's not flames like the dragon fight. That's it? That was super simple, man! I mean, relatively speaking, we do have a boss fighting dino there. You alright? You feeling good? Light work, huh? Light work. How you doing? Absolutely nothing. Oh, we got the stuff in here. We got... 20 of the horns. 5 of the black pearls. And then the trophy. I like the trophy, man. 7 whole polymer. Now, did we get... Oh, we got the skin. That is fantastic, dude. Let's go ahead and check it out. Remove skin. Equip skin. Turn on skin. Nice, man. Nice. That's kind of the hardest part to get, believe it or not, because... It used to be in Scorched Earth on ASE, the Manicor, or not the Manicor, but the Alpha Deathworms, man. I always had problems finding them. They were kind of like a super rare thing. Looks kind of cool, though. Ah, dude. Fantastic armor set whenever we finally get it done. Let's remove that one. So when we get to back, back to base, I need to remember to take this and put it in our storage so we don't lose it. And then hide our hats. Nice, man. Nice. Let's go ahead and harvest the stuff from them. Ton of prime meats. Not sure if we'll keep all that. I mean, I can't put you back in the cryo yet, can I? Because you've been damaged. Oh, we can. Should probably do the bird, too, and we might fly over. It's a long ways away, dude. Let's go ahead and remove this. I like how they make these so much easier to do in ASA versus ASE. ASE, man, you had to get out there your uh, compass, and then you had to put in the GPS coordinates and everything else. So much simpler. Let's go ahead and pick you up, too. We'll fly over on the bird. A little bit faster. Oh, I don't have my... Gillian stuff. I need to go back to base. Let's go ahead and keep all of the... meat and stuff. I'll drop it off. And then I need to grab the bug spray and our gilly. Totally forgot about that. Kind of a key thing. There we go, man. There we go. That went a lot simpler than I thought. I was hoping for, like, a little mini boss fight, man. It's what it is. Alright, let me get back to base, grab our ghillie, drop off the meat, and I will see you over that way. Alright, so we gotta find out which pack. There it is there. That's a male 150. Ugly colors on it, holy crap, dude. But, it's fine. Kinda works out because this one is far away. Let's get out our cat. A little bit easier to deal with him versus the bird. Oh, I can't really throw out the- well, the bird's got stuff in him, man. I got a drop that was right over by base. Got a nice hatchet there, and then we got some beer. That way we can celebrate when we're done. 
72 of the sap. Let's just leave him there. I think it'll be fine, man. Let's take out you. Let's make sure you're the proper one. You are. Yep, come over this way, buddy. There we go, that kind of works. Save my shotgun ammo. Dude, that is perfect, man. Oh, that is perfect. So where is the other one? Over that way. Okay, let's do this. Leave you there. We will eat this and that. Who has the horns? Let's put you over here by Junior. Keep him safe. I mean, if you let him get nibbled on, that is totally fine. He deserves it. Maybe that'll get his attitude in check. Five of these. That should be enough, I think. All right. Play nice. Okay? Just saying. Just in case. <laughs> we want him to protect herself. So, should be able to sneak up on this guy fairly easily. And might be between one and two to get him tamed. I didn't look up how many of the horns we need for a 150. I thought it was two for the last one we did. Maybe it'll be two for this guy. Whenever you have to do two, that's when it gets kind of sketchy, you know? An Oasisaur! I haven't seen one of those yet! Oh, dude. When we're done teaming him, we'll go over there and take a look at that guy. Wait, Junior. <laughs> Turn around, buddy. But with this guy, whenever you gotta do two of the feedings, you have to feed him, and then back away before he turns around. So it doesn't mess up the tame, you know? Don't come this way, man. Go the other direction, up the sand dune. So it kind of works that we have the bird out. Because we'll go ahead and jump on him if we get aggro and get out of the way. Crouch. Sneaky, sneaky. Get up there. Put a deathworm horn into his back pocket. Try to be friends! That thing is so loud, dude! Did you hear it? Not sure if the recording picked it up. Can you stop walking, please? Here we go. Nice, dude. Nice! That kind of works. If you're wondering, I'm on four times taming for our stuff here. Because we're doing a recording, right? So, doesn't take as many of these as I thought. Let's go ahead and put you in here. Take a look at your- well, look at the stats while we're here. So, it tamed out to be a 224. It is a male. We got 2,090 on the health. Stamina is 765. Weight is 391 and 255 on damage. I think all the stats on this guy is better than the original female. Now, I didn't write down the stats on the female. I'd have to look back on my previous video and see what they were. Nice, dude. Nice. That went a lot simpler than I thought I was going to. Meta statement is usually hard because a lot of the times where I get them is down, like, in the Dragon Trench. And, I mean, got everything in the world down there, right? Kind of makes it difficult. Let's pick up the cats and then... The right? Lag Spike. We'll head out and take a look at the new creature out there. Take all that, thank you. And you can go back in here. Alright, drop off this stuff into here, help with the spoil times, and let's put back on our normal gear. Where did I get the pants from? I might have been in one of the drops. Maybe. Possibly. Not too sure. Alright, so we're good there. Put those in there too, and that's... Alright, so, this thing. Now, the mechanics, from what I saw, is a pain. That's why I'm not too sure if I want to deal with it. Especially since I don't really want to use it for anything, right? So there's supposed to be different flavors of these. For like what resources are on top. This one's got trees, it's got bushes. Not sure what else. I think we can land on it even though we're not taming it, right? Now it's not a fighter. I think you can build on it. But if you build on it and it dies, don't you lose your whole base and stuff? You got crystal too. Interesting. You can land on it. It is super tiny, man. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. That's kind of underwhelming. Just saying. Now, can you build on the whole thing? Okay, look. I jumped off. We almost fell. I did not think about it moving while we're up here. Access inventory. It deposits its resources here. So, can you not harvest the things up here? Why well, am I blue? That's super weird. Is it because I haven't tamed it yet? Maybe. Can I drink the water? I can't drink the water. That kind of sucks. Nice little lagoon there. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than what it is. <laughs> Try to see if I move around too much. 
while he's, uh... How much health does it have? While he's flying. <gasps> well, that's awkward. I flew through. Okay, that's a little bit buggy. A little bit buggy, just saying. He's being attacked. How much health do you have? Does it say on the inventory screen? Hard to land on him with him moving. It doesn't. Storage is 30. No weight, no health. Hmm. We might try. We might! I heard you gotta have a flamethrower to make it easier. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see, man. Kinda cool seeing them. I mean, they're big, but I thought it was gonna be a lot more space on top, right? I thought they were gonna be, like, massive. I think a titanosaur might be a little bit bigger, right? What if we get anything if we kill him? Oh, we got a buff! Gaia's Embrace. What is... What is that? Increased movement speed and health regen. Interesting! Is that from just being in... the water? Or being in the range of this guy? Should we kill one? See if we get any good loots? Not sure how much health they have. Let's see how the... cat does with it. Please do not get bugged out and get stuck in them. I should jump on the cat and use the shotgun. I'm guessing they're gonna have a lot of health. Try to kill him this way. I hear you, Scorpion. I hear you coming over here. This might be a lost cause. We got the cat and the theory. Let's let's use that, man. Do some testing. A little bit of science. Yep, yep. Back up, Junior. Back up, man. Back up. Guys, him. There we go. There we go. Tear him up, man. Tear him up. Alright, so, him. We'll kill him off. See if we get some loot from him. Watch, this will be the only one I ever see on the map. It's it was the first one I've seen so far. That was it? That guy is squishy, man! Who got the loot? Don't tell me that's the only loot that we get from him. Junior! Over here, buddy. Can I pick you guys up? No loot. You get absolutely nothing from that guy. That kind of sucks, man. Don't look at me like that. It was testing, buddy. It was testing, man. Kind of figured you should have got something from him besides... a little bit of meat and hide and, uh, chitin, you know? Disappointing, man. Super disappointing. Anyways, <laughs> a little bit of testing. Look, man, you don't know until you know, you know? So, now we know. Not worth killing him. Let's head back to base. We'll grab out the other mantis. I will double check my video on the way back and see if... Oh, it's raining. Fantastic. No heat stroke out here today. Let's see if we can do some... Oh, there's a red drop too. We can do some breeding and try to get some good stats on one of the mantis. And then use that for our harvesting. Ah, oh, dude. Super, super excited for that. And don't forget too, right? We're kind of getting ready for the other maps where we'll use those as harvesting. Mainly for, like, extinction, right? For doing the element veins. It's kind of one of the better creatures to use on that, so... It's all pre-planning for later videos. Dude, it's a red drop with a ring around it. Holy crap, man, please do not disappear. I was worried about that the whole way over. Let's just grab it all. Let's get on the bird. We all right? Let's get in the air. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Very nice blueprints. Very nice blueprints. Riot shield. We'll need that for aberration. 9300 on durability. I like it. Some more ammo. Some more C4. We've got... That was already ours. Fabricated sniper rifle. That's a very nice one, too, man. We can use that on the Oasis or Taming as well. A very good saddle for that guy. Look, man, next video, we're definitely taming one. We have to, man. We got the very, very good saddle. We got a bunch of the C4. We got a nice pump action. We have not had one, period. That's been very nice, you know? We got some more of these. That'll be good for the grinder. We got a 300 armor uh, UD saddle. Ah, uh, dude. I'm telling you, man, my drops are only on two quality, right? And we're getting so much better stuff than the island. My drops on the island were also a two times on the uh, the quality. So not too sure why they're so much better over here. But look, man, I am all for it. It is very nice to have some better drops. Another purple one coming down right there. Hmm. Anyways, not too bad of a day, man. Ah, dude. Fantastic day, actually. Dude, the rain is very, very nice for a change. I've noticed that these storms have kind of calmed down some. So not sure if they actually got that fixed. Be fantastic if they did. So, let's grab all this stuff real quick. Can we carry everything? 
Probably not. Let's drop off some gear and stuff first. Wait. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Come over here, Junior. Over here, buddy. Look, man, look. Today is not the day to be clingy. I was nice to you one day. It doesn't mean... You need to be clingy. Just saying. Let's grab this stuff. Put this out here. We'll throw ourselves into the grinder. We'll do some breeding. I did get a note made with our stats from the other one. That's from the female one that we had bred. So we can kind of compare them and see where we're at in life. All right, let's drop off these. Those are very, very good, man. So they got 1,400 on the durability. And then the armor is 1,337, but we don't need it. We definitely need that. Holy crap, we definitely need that. All right, everything else is good. Let's drop this in here. Let's drop this in there. That for sure as well. It's our other one, man. I thought that was a good one. That is a very, very nice one. We had a blueprint of that? Ah, uh, dude, we'd be set, man. Now for the C4. Wait. Where's the other C4? Right here. We'll use that for the next video for doing our taming. Drop off that. Drop off our gear. Our saddles. That's kind of set there. And our blueprints. Very, very nice pair of pants. A thousand on the durability. Oh, dude. Cannot wait to use those over on Aberration, man. Super excited for that map. If you didn't know, that's my favorite map and also the one I hate the most at the same time. Why do we have the Island Fog? I tell you what, man. With these updates, if they put the Island Fog on this map, I am not going to be happy. They do not want a forest fire all the time on every single map. They got to sort that stuff out, man. They definitely got to sort that out. You can't carry all that. It's a weight issue. We can leave a lot of this in here for now, and I can finish emptying it later. Pick up the rest of this meat. Might as well. Don't let it spoil. That'll be a good hatchet for the Mantis, too. And I did go back for the other one. It's just it disappeared by the time I got there. For our pick that we lost. Oh, yeah. Not in there. So it kind of sucks, man. It's what it is, though. It's all right. Drop off these. We should be able to seal our container back up. All right, we good? We all right? Let's seal it. So, should have left it open because we're doing some breeding and stuff, right? Should we do that inside or outside? Do you drop eggs? Do you know? I mean, I know you know, but it'd be nice if you could tell me so that I know. So there's the other one. Let's compare some colors and stuff. The colors, I mean, already are for sure a lot better on this one. The main one I'm worried about is the underbelly. That's green. It's also green. Hmm, that sucks. I don't know if there's a different color you can have. Let's leave you guys both. Eh, let's put the male on the other side so we can actually get inside the base. I'm guessing they drop eggs. Maybe like the moth eggs do. So, for the stats of the female versus the male, she had 1705 on the health. He's got 2090. She had 660. He's got 765 on the stamina. Weight was 382. He's got 391. And her damage was 224, and his is 255. So, pretty much every stat we need from the male. It's nice, man. It's nice. So, all the stats from him, plus the colors from her, and we should be good. So, We'll do that. We'll do that. Let you guys do your thing. We'll get an egg, and we should be good. Is this ready? It is. So the lights, I think what I'm going to do for the lights, I change these to silver, and it's still kind of, it's it's very, very dim for some reason. Anytime you paint them, it's either super dim, or it's like extremely bright. So I might just go back and use, well not use soap, I'll just pick them up, place them back down. And we'll just do that. Now I did add some more too to try to make it brighter. As you can see, I got one there, I got one there. Added some more out here. And it just the more lights I put, it's it's like the worst it looks, man. But not too sure. Let's go ahead and just start picking these up. I don't want as many out as we have. I mean one right there actually might be good. But I don't want them painted anymore. I think we'll just do the normal colors. You are taking a very long time on the mating. Dude, it is storming like crazy, man. Holy crap, dude. Good thing we got all of our creatures out of the corrals that we want to. It's a electric storm, so we can't actually put them out. Speaking of that, let's drop off the theory. Did fantastic today. Wait. 
default into there. And you're almost ready. Almost? Yep. I don't like these eggs for some reason, man. They're super weird, dude. Just saying. Just saying. Let's see. Can we actually hatch it out here? You can. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a thing. That'll make it easier for having out here now for food. I don't have any spoiled meats. I did not think about that. We could go kill a vulture or five. We got nine. Might do that. Might kill off a vulture. That one's almost ready too. We'll do that. We'll hatch this guy. Maybe put him in. Oh, we can't do a cryo because of the storm. If that's all the perfect stats and this guy dies because I don't have the proper food and stuff. Junior! <laughs> Buddy, man. You look fantastic. So please be a female. Okay, you're a male. Don't listen. Good stat, good stats, right? Nope, bad stamina, right? What was the stamina on the male? Bad stamina. Good weights, bad damage, okay. Kill this one off. Won't have to worry about him, and then... Come this way, come this way. Good colors, though. We'll keep this one, because of the colors. Might make it easier for breeding over... Ah, <sighs> whenever we... well... Get the proper stats so we can worry about the colors later. But having a male and a female with the right colors makes life a little bit easier. And feed you some food. So it is eating that. Can we actually get it to eat regular meats? Is that a thing? Hold on, stay there, stay there. Don't worry, don't worry about the storm. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Things are tiny, dude. Junior. <laughs> look kind of cool. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Try some regular meats. See if it works. You never know, man, right? All testing. Never done breeding on these guys. If he eats regular meats, we're golden. 685. Nope, he won't eat it. He can't force feed it either. Oh, egg. I was like, what is going on? Let's pick you up for right now. And then let's head out to the desert. And kill off a couple of vultures. Let's leave the meat in here, though. And jump off these horns as well. These are super heavy, dude. The thing that sucks is we have to go on the Argentavis because all the other ones are in the cryos. Disable that while we're gone. And that way we don't have any more eggs. Alright, man. Let me grab a couple of these vultures. I think you get about 20 or so of the spoiled meat from each one. There should be quite a few right over here. Watch, there's gonna be none. It's gonna be absolutely zero whenever I want them. That's the way that it goes, man. It's Ark. It is like Vulture City over here, dude. Holy crap, look at them all, man. There's a ton of them. Might just get off and use the shotgun. They're gonna tear up our armor anyways. I'm gonna hit absolutely zero of these guys. There we go. I need to harvest the meat first. That was four. I need to use the... The bird. Yep, 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 yep. Look, guys, look, look, look! Holy crap, there's a bunch of them! We got a saber too! I should've stayed on the bird! Junior! There he comes. There he goes, there he goes. Yep. I need to use the other shotgun. There we go, there we go. Reload, Junior, reload! Alright, we good? You were leaving me to die. I know it's... It was payback. I get it. I get it. We got 26 and 13. That is not very much. It's another one there. Should have the saber out, man. He gets so much more stuff whenever you kill things. That good? That might be alright, man. That might be alright. Look, they need to deal with what they have, you know? I could kill off some normal, normal creatures and get the meat. There's some tops up here. And just spoil the meat in my inventory. Speaking of food. A little bit of that. Should help out. I saw one up here. Right there. It's blue! Level 5. Not worth it. Yep, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It'll only hurt for a second. That'll work for now, man. Look, we're not doing breeding for too long today. You know how it goes. We'll find something we want to keep, and then kill off all the other ones. Alright, so leave you right there. 
Give me the rest of that. Let's go ahead and turn you back on for mating. Then we'll throw out this egg and see what we have. Kind of cool that we can actually hatch it out here, you know? And let's go ahead and split all of these. It's gonna be, what, 16 minutes? Oh, I have salts in my inventory. We can solve that. Still gonna be 8 minutes for the spoil time. We need the heat to, uh, heat to crank up some. <laughs> spoil it down a little bit faster. The uh, storm is going on forever, though, man. All right, 10% left, 5% left. All we need is a male, or a female with all the proper stats. Ah, we got another male one. Bad, good, good. What was the damage on the male? 255, so all we're missing on this one, it's a male, though. Bad colors, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. This one will only keep for, for the colors, you know? Hmm. All right, give me a few minutes. Let me find a good one. You know the routine, man. I'll find a good one. We'll come back and then change that one out and then worry about some colors later. You're not going to be around very long, Junior. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, man. So here's where we're at in life. We've got a little one. And it's a female, but it only has two of the stats that we need. We've got the stamina and we got the weight. We're missing the health and the damage. What we're going to do is put this into the breeding mix like we usually do. That way, we could work on getting, possibly, some of the stats fully moved over. Now, the colors aren't all there. Not a problem, though. We have the... the male one and the female, right? This is the male one that got all, all the way raised up. Now we can bring the colors in later. Main thing we want is the stats. Let's drop you. Luckily, with all the babies, man, I'm getting a bunch of the prime meat. That is... not right. Let's put it on the ground. Get a bunch of the prime meat. Spoils a lot faster. Let's leave you. And let's turn on mating for you. And that should work out. If we can at least get the stats on, I can always work on the colors off camera. See how we got the male and the female that both have the proper colors? Take a look and see what this one is. Hopefully we'll get one that has everything on it. I mean, it's a very, <laughs> very small probability. But that is breeding an arc. Looks like a Lystro had a bad day. A couple seconds. What do you have? Please be a female. Most of them have been males. Mutation! Hello? Hello? There we go. So, it's a male. Mutation went into weight. Right? 391? What is the male over here? 391. Oxygen is 705 and... 4200? Where? There you are. I'm not sure what we got a... Oh, it is no... No mutation? Different colors, but no mutation. Is that a thing? You can get just a pure color mutation? That's kind of interesting. Again, man, don't forget, I don't do mutations on stuff, right? It's not something I usually do for breeding. Hmm! I'll kill this one off, though. That's kind of cool. I was hoping we are going to get something that was <laughs> going to be a stat that we wanted. Of course, we had to breed it in with everything else. But what are your stats? Anything good? We're missing a stamina. This missing stamina on that one. It's a male, so we don't need it, but... Hmm, interesting. Alright, just, just... Hang tight there, buddy. You're fine, you're fine. We'll kill you off, too. So that's not too bad. All we're missing now is health on this one. And this is an egg that came from... That other female. Nice, dude, nice. We'll keep this one. Do the same thing. Rotate them out in the breeding mix. And then hopefully, the next time we get one from this one... It'll be one with the health, and then we're kind of set on that. Nice, dude, nice! This is just another male. Kill off for some more of these spoiled meats. So let's feed you. Keep you alive for sure. Let's just do... we'll do ten. That should be plenty. We're kind of set there, so you can stay there. You... can come this way. Let's get you out here. Make sure I don't accidentally kill you off. Nice, dude, nice! One more stat, and we are golden! I can't wait for this one to get raised up to put it in the breeding mix. And then we can worry about the colors whenever we're done. I like it, man. I like it. Not too bad. All we need now is a mutation to get mixed in and screw everything up for us. <laughs> it's the way that it goes, dude.
Oh, dude, look at that, man. That one's perfect, dude. So, very ugly on the colors, but it's a female. It's got the health, it's got the stamina, it's got the weight and the damage. Now, do you have... No mutation, just another color one. Interesting. Let's go ahead and do quite a bit of food on this one, because it is a good one. We'll keep you. It's got the, uh, same kind of color mutation. Interesting. That is a keeper for sure. So, what are you? Another female? Oh, dude, look at that. These are two different eggs from two different creatures. Right, for the females, and we got the good stats on both of them. Interesting. We'll go ahead and keep it. Might as well. Let's put 20 into you. Seems that we got the good stats, just in case we have a mishap. There's no telling what'll happen. So all I have to do is work on getting the blue over on you. And then you'll be fixed. You need too much work. <laughs> Look, man. You need both colors on you. You need the blue, plus you need the white. So that kind of works out. So this one, we don't need to keep anymore. I don't know, the, uh... All green? I like the white better, man. The white and the blue look fantastic. I just need to get the underbelly different. Maybe we can get a mutation. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Maybe we can get a mutation and kind of get that sorted out. Let's turn off the breeding on you. And then let's check these. You never know, man. You never know. Wait, you guys are good on food, right? We'll hatch these two. Watch. See how we got the two good females? We'll probably get two now that have the proper colors. That's kind of weird having an egg from each. And they both have all the proper stats, you know. Kind of works out. So I wonder if we had a third one out. Whenever that rotation happened, I wonder if the third one would have had the proper stats as well. I don't know if it's kind of set up like that. Right where it's a time gate thing. But it'd be kind of neat, man. Let's turn this back on. Another electric storm, of course. So we can't throw out the other one for our color breeding until the storm goes away. It's a lot of these weird color mutations, man. I can't see you two. There we go. You're a male. Missing the damage. It's another male. All good stats. Interesting. We could keep these with the good stats, but we're not going to. We want a good breeding line with all the proper colors. The only thing, like I said, we're missing on this guy is the, the belly. So, keeping those. Getting rid of these. And then, all we're waiting for is a storm, because we're going to need to have... How do we want to do the color breeding? Maybe we'll take the male one, breed him with this. Wait, I don't have... I'm going to get confused. Should I try to get the colors over on the female first, from this other male that I have that's in the cryo? Can't use it, right? We can't. Or should we go ahead and try to... I think the easiest bet will be to breed that one with the male, right? And then once we get a male one that has all the good stats, maybe breed it with... I don't know, that's kind of the setup we're doing now. I don't know, give me a minute. I'm, I'm not big on color breeding. I'm going to get myself confused on what will be easier to get the color stats over onto the proper one. The only thing we're missing is a male with the good colors, you know? So I got this one imprinted. So we can at least take a look at the stats of the... The final imprinted ones, whenever we do it. Alright, hang tight there. So, what we'll have after imprint is 2508 on the health. Stamina is the same, 765. Our weight will be almost 470. And then just over 300 on the damage. Not too bad, man, really. That's not bad at all. And then, like I said, I want to keep doing breeding on these to get mutations. That will be a beast. So I'm hoping to retire maybe the Anki or the Dodic. Now, I know that they do better on harvesting. But you got to figure, this guy is more mobile. And actually protect himself. Moves around a lot faster and kind of harvests everything, right? Instead of having just the Dodic and the Anki. I'm hoping just to kind of get down to where we have the one creature for doing our harvesting, which might work out. We don't do too intensive base builds really and stuff. I kind of want to keep going small like we are. So just having that, man, would be nice for grabbing everything. Now, they should be able to still grab... Can they grab fiber with a sickle? Do some testing real quick. On there. There we go. Got that one out of a drop as well. Let's, um, we'll take you out. Let's give you this. Let's do it over here so the grass actually grows back. There we go. We do. So we get fiber too, so we don't really need the fairy anymore either. 
Interesting, man. Interesting. That'll kind of work out. Put you back over here. I need to figure out what I want to do for the color breeding. But regardless, we got the good stats on two sets of females. So super happy about that, man. Don't worry about the colors. All right, man. So here's where we're at in life. These storms are finally gone. Holy crap, dude. Took forever, man. So what I decided to get the proper colors over. This is the original male, right? Has all the good stats, bad colors. This is the female that we finally got that's not imprinted. And she has all the good stats, bad colors. This is the male that we got in the mix that has the good colors, but no stats. And this is the original female that has all the good colors and bad stats. So I'm hoping to get one of two things from these guys. What I'm really hoping for is to get a female with all the good stats, but his colors. Then we can breed her with this guy, right? Because they both have the good stats. She'll have the good colors, then all we have to do is get the colors over onto the male. That'll be the best bet. The other option is if we get a male with all the good colors and the good stats from him, we should be kind of set for that, and then we can breed him with this guy, right? Because this one has the good colors as well, but low stats, and all we need is a female. It's... look, man. I do not have the brain power to do this all the time. It's kind of why I don't really mess with mutations or color breeding too much. Hurts my head, dude. Really hurts my head. So, we got one egg. Let's see if we are lucky. We would probably not be. Maybe we'll get... I mean, either either or kind of works. So if we get a male or female, they just need to have the proper colors and stats, right? Either gender will work. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be... a female with the good colors, because it'll be easier to breed in with that guy. All we need is some color stats then, you know? Or not color stats, but colors. What do we got? It'll be close, man. It's... it's... Uh, might do a lot of this off-camera. We'll try a couple eggs today. And see what works out, but I really want to get the colors done before the end of my IRL day, you know? <laughs> that way, we don't have to think about it anymore. We have good colors! Do we have good stats? Good, good, good. Oh, fantastic! It's a male, too! Okay, look. So this is fantastic, man. So what we're going to do... Feed you some meat. Let's give you 20. Make sure you stay alive. That is the best case scenario. For the most part, right? You got another egg. Let's grab this one. Let's turn off breeding. I know, Junior. Look, look, look. Don't be clinging, okay? Got a lot going on here today. So this one, since it's a male, good stats, good colors. Let's double check. We are good. That will get bred with this, right? Both have the same colors. All we have to do is get a female now with the proper stats, and we're kind of set. Now we could breed this guy with this one, because then we got the proper... Let's do that. Let's get rid of that one altogether. Breed this with this one, because they both got the same stats, and all we need is a female with the colors, so let's move you. This is actually a best bet versus what I was going to do. See, that's again, I get kind of confused with what I should and shouldn't do. Because on this one, we're missing the damage, really, and the stamina. Now with this one, triple check. We are good. So breeding them, all we need is a female with the colors, and we're set. All of them have the same stats. Let's give you this. And we're not going to do the imprints, because I want the stats to be basic, right? So you're going to be a breeder. And then for the moment, let's name you breeder as well. And all we have to wait for is that guy to raise up, and then we'll do one more round, and I think I'm going to go through and double-check all these guys, make sure we have the good stats on these two, and I'll kill off the other three, just to get them out of here. Let's go ahead and move them for right now. That way somebody doesn't get confused. It does happen. That actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to, you know? So these two are trash. And this is the one that has the imprint that we're doing our testing on. We'll leave it here for the moment. Might keep it, might not. Probably not. Once we get our good color stats on these guys, we'll get rid of that one as well and then have our blue. And all we're waiting for now, as far as colors go, not sure what color I'd want on the belly. I have to see how mutations work out eventually down the line. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm not a fan of green. But the other colors, man, the, the white and the blue are fantastic. So all we're waiting for is something on the belly. 
and then just keep breeding for mutations into either health. I think stamina might be fine, so health, stamina, or weight, really. Mainly health and weight. Weight is kind of the main thing I'll be putting stats into. And damage as well, because of harvesting. Probably get that up to around three or 400%. 400 would be the, the max I'll put into it, and the rest in the weight to be able to carry stuff around. I don't think they get a weight reduction in any of the resources. I have to do some testing and find out. But, all right, man, a little bit more breeding. It's kind of getting late in the day. And then have our breeding pair of mantis. Fantastic, man. So happy, dude. So happy. And there we go, man. Ah, uh, dude, that is perfect, man. So, all the good stats. We should be because they're all the same. It is a female. So there is a perfect breeding pair. Hello? I want you not the floor, please. Let's do 20 here. Just to keep it alive. And then we're not doing any type of imprinting on this one. It only took about three eggs to actually get the proper one, so it's not too bad. Stay there, Junior. Stay there. Just saying. We can turn off the mating on this one. And then we can actually move you out of the way, too. So this is the old breeding pair. Have the good stats and stuff, but not the colors. I'll be taking that back. Thank you for your donation. Those are the good colors but bad stats. And that's the one that just has the imprint that we were kind of testing with. So you're good. You're a breeder. And then, you're good as well. Let's go ahead and give you a saddle. Keep you somewhat safe. We'll move you out whenever you get raised up and good to go. And this one we'll hold on to as well for right now. Where's our other saddle? We should have two good ones. We'll give one to you for the moment. Oh, it's on the... No, not on this one. Who has a saddle? You can't keep it. I'm just saying. Probably in somebody's inventory. This, uh... I'm getting double storms, man. So it was two of the electric back-to-back. -back. This is a second heat wave that I have back-to-back, -back too. Somebody has a saddle. And I don't know who. Unless it's over here. It's a 120 I'm looking for. Oh, right here. Okay. Right there. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and paint it. This will be for Junior. And it fully gets painted, too. Let's see how it looks on here with the colors. Should look fantastic, man. Actually, let's just go ahead and paint them both. Might as well. We'll give you back this one. That looks nice, man. Ah, oh, that looks so nice, dude. I cannot wait until we can get some mutations to change the belly. And that will be the perfect tame, man. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. It has been very long. A lot longer for me than it has for you. It's been about another 45 minutes on top of the video time just off camera doing the uh, the egg hatching and stuff. But, kind of a busy day. We had some good loot when we started off from the different supply drops. We got that red one while we were here. Fantastic stuff. We got the alpha deathworm kind of killed off too. Went fairly easy, I do have to say. And then we got our other mantis. It was so nice finding that 150. Better stats than the one that we had. We got our stats spread over for our breeding pair. Plus, we got our colors too, man. Now, I know I usually don't do all that in one video, but figure we actually go through the whole process and get them all done. And we're kind of set, man. No more mantis taming or breeding. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.